They are hundreds of pages of documents uncovering the final terrible moments of a violent relationship. The release of documents by the Brookfield Police Department related to the Azana Salon shootings has unleashed a wave of emotions, not just for survivors. It's, it's got to end, man. It's got to end. But for people like Antonio Wilkins, he may be the last person you would expect to be affected. I've been a uh, part of a domestic violence in my past. Wilkins is an admitted former abuser. Joining him Saturday at the Destiny Church in Milwaukee, other admitted abusers and victims. When he actually closed his fist and hit me in my face, um, black my eye twice, I knew he didn't love me. Jennifer Jackson among those taking part in a domestic violence retreat in a unique day-long event, abusers mix with victims to discuss their troubled pasts. If we can address the issue from both sides, maybe we can develop a household that will be a lot more positive and develop more generations of positivity. The group watched scenarios put on by actors and learned ways to defuse tense situations, all just a day after the issue of domestic abuse claimed the headlines. A lot of women don't talk about it. A lot of women uh, put it under the work, and for a minute, that's, I did the same thing. We have to stop. Uh, pretending that it don't that it don't exist, and we have to actually uh, take steps to prevent this from happening anymore. Abuse that happens mostly behind closed doors that this group is committed to keeping in the public eye. We want to keep it in the light until we eradicate this type of behavior, eradicate these type of situations. In Milwaukee, Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News.